Hey, Shalom, Akim. Uh, this is Yah Batiza coming back with another video. Want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yahweshai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth through the spirit of Yah Bashim Yahweshai. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and truth. Coming back with another video. It's going to be base basically be over the topic, uh, not giving over, being basically not being governed by sin, okay, and submitting or basically. Uh, possessing our, 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 ourselves, man, you know what I'm saying, like gaining control of our emotions, gaining control of our members, talking about the physical, okay, the eye, the mouth, the tongue, you know, and various uh, parts that may uh, get a brother to go off, you see what I'm saying, so basically that's what the video is going to be about, so real quick, I'm going to jump into Romans chapter 6, verse 12, it says, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof, okay? So it's already given us a commandment that we're, we are not to uh, let sin reign in our in our bodies, okay? That, that, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof, okay? So we have to gain control of ourselves, man. Okay, the scriptures say the mind is wicked above all things. We know that the brothers that are in the, in the truth and the knowing, we know it. So what do we do? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai gave us certain uh, tools on how to fight against the flesh, which is through fasting. All right, uh, you know that's that that's our way of uh, self-afflicting, okay, of uh, attacking the flesh and, and weakening the flesh and building up the spirit at the same time. And fasting it consists of not eating food, you know, uh, giving your body certain pleasures of of, of 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 certain foods and things of that nature, okay. And that's what's going to help build up your spirit. Okay. So that's what we have to do in order to, to, to stay on top uh, of the flesh. Because Yahweh Shai, he told us that the, uh, the flesh is weak and the spirit is willing. Okay. But at the same time, uh, what, what he meant about what he meant when he said it was weak, that it's contrary to the spirit, that it will, the flesh wants to win over the spirit. And basically just possess the the spirit because the spirit is supposed to possess the body. The body is, is nothing but a vessel for the spirit to live in. Okay. That's why you got a uh, Paul real quick. Let me go ahead and bring it at, bring it out. It's in the second the, the next chapter, Romans seven. It says, uh a lot, let me see. I'll start right here, Romans seven. And twenty. Let me highlight these, man. Salakia for my, for me slipping up on my tongue so many times. You know, sometimes it, you try to be eloquent, articulate in your in your videos, and sometimes they don't come out that way. You know, for various reasons. But uh, Salakia for that, brothers. Romans seven and twenty. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Okay, because we all, no matter how hard we strive for perfection, we're still in these bodies so it's, we're, it's going to be a constant battle okay it's it's a never-ending battle it's it's you know it as soon as you go to sleep it, even in the midst of your sleep your body's trying to get you to go off you know you, you dream of, of, of ridiculous things inconvenient things of you know and then when you wake up it's it's all over again you know it's a constant battle so Paul is conveying to us that sin dwelleth, dwells in him. Even though he was a, he, he's a man of, man of the Lord, he's still humble, being humble and, and, and recognizing and realizing that sin still dwells in him. All right? Verse 21, I find then a law that when I would, that when I would do good, evil is present with me. You see? So evil is constantly around us, man. Let's lock you for that, brothers. Evil is constantly around us, man. And, you know, that's why we got to be delivered. We're in these chains of darkness. All right, talking about these bodies. And when, when the last trump comes, that's spoken about in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we're going to be trans translated, man. We're going to be transformed into a whole different body, a co incorruptible body, because this, this, this wicked flesh and blood cannot go in there. We're going to give, we're going to have new bodies, man. Okay, a new, we're going to be clean. We're going to be made perfect. 
All right, Romans 7 and 22. For I delight in the law of Yahweh after the inward man. The inward man is the spirit. Like Yahweh Shai told the 12 when he was in the, uh, the, the Mount of Olives, right before he was going to be taken up, that the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Okay, because the spirit wants to continue to fight and, and to continue to, to thrive and, and, and things of that nature. But the flesh is a downfall of us, man. Okay, it's destructive. It's very destructive, the flesh. Okay, and the scriptures give us certain things on how to uh, fight against that, you know, real quick. Let me jump to, I'm going to go from right here, Romans 7 to... Matthew chapter 5 and start at verse 28. Okay, just bear with me, brothers. All right. Uh, uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 29. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish. And not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish. And not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So it, what, is that, what, is that trying to, what does that mean? It's, it's not talking about physically cutting off your hand, your leg, your foot, your eye, plucking out your eye, or cutting off your tongue. It's spiritual. You have to do spiritual things, man. All right. So let's go back to what was that? What was that? Romans seven. Okay, Romans seven. It says Romans seven and twenty-two. For I delight in the law of Yahweh after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bring me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. You see. So our own self, we are we are our worst enemy, okay? We can't be pointing the finger and blaming anybody else for our fuck-ups. We fuck up. We go off, all right? You know? Ain't nobody else's fault. Nobody should have power over, over us, not even our bodies. And that's what I'm going to go back into Romans 6. And I speak this to myself because I fall in that category at times where I want to point the finger. But, it, but I had to look back in that mirror, examine thyself, man. We got to examine ourselves. I have to examine myself and be like, no, it's you. It's me that's going off. Okay? So let's find out how what, what you got to do. Let's go to, let's see here, Colossians chapter 3. All right. I'll start at verse 5. And just bear with me to highlight these. All right, because we're coming to the time, man, where Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he's in a, he's in a way out our actions, man. All right, that's how Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna judge us by our actions, what we did, and while we're we're on earth in these bodies. Okay, so it's Colossians three and five. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. So mortify your members. We have to mortify the members. Like we read in Matthew chapter 5, cut it out, cut off the eye if it causeth thee to offend. All right? Cut, cut off thy right hand if it causeth thee, causeth thee to, to offend. But this is talking about in a spiritual sense. All right? You got to spiritually uh, mortify those members. Okay? Let me go into that word mortify. All right? And that's all, and this is all part of being uh, built up into a man of, a man of the Lord. When Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is pre prepping the, the elect men, they're gonna rule the next world, man. Okay, so we have to be purged and, and, and purified on this side. Ultimately, it's gonna be when we're caught up in the chariots. But at this right, while we're breathing today, while we're still alive right now, we have to be mortifying ourselves. All right. So let's go. Let's go into that uh, word mortify. Strong's G, 3499, Nekrao, Nekrao. All right, all right, here at the outline of biblical usage, to make dead, to put to death, slay, worn out of an impotent old man, to deprive of power, destroy of the strength thereof. So we have to make it, make it dead, all right, deaden it, or to deprive of power, destroy the strength of, because the body is very strong and the flesh is strong. 
and it, and it resists against the spirit. It's contrary to the spirit, which goes into uh, Galatians chapter five. Okay, so we had we had to deaden these these certain members through fasting, through prayer, through reading and staying in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh the Word. All right, watching the videos, uh, communicating with the brotherhood. All right, the brothers, the Akim. Okay, that's how we're gonna deaden these members and not be uh, governed by the flesh or sin, and not letting anything have a, have power over us. Okay, so that's what that word uh, mortify means. And right here at the Strong's definition, it says to deaden, that is figuratively, to subdue, be dead, mortify. So it's figuratively speaking, all right, that we have to gain control spiritually and deaden the member or the members that may uh, be uh, contrary to the spirit, okay? So that's what you got to do. All right, deprive the power of. So we got to uh, self-afflict our members through fasting, praying, and things of that nature, resisting, okay? To resist the lust thereof. It says, Colossians 3 and 5, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake, the wrath of Yahweh cometh on the children of disobedience. Okay? So we have to resist these certain uh, characteristics that are of the flesh. You see? Uh, real quick, uh, let me go to. I'm going to come back to this. I'm jumping around, but just bear with me. Just bear with me, man. All right? Just bear with me, brothers. Mabu Kosha, Salakia. All right, this is uh, Ephesians 2 and 1. And, and you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Okay? Quicken means to be, be made alive. So we're made alive through Yahweh Shai. Okay? So when, when, when you are born again in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we're not supposed to be turned back over to that at one time was uh ruling ourselves was ruling our spirit which is the flesh the lust of the flesh all right you, you, when you're in the world you're doing all kinds of wicked shit you know what i'm saying whatever whatever you were doing but that was contrary to the law contrary to the spirit of yahweh shim yahweh shai so now you you were quickened and were and were dead in trespasses and sins okay but now you're made alive verse two wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world According to the prince of the power of the air, the, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversations in time past and the lust of our flesh, you see, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So we, we're no longer of that. We're the children of light. Lord willing, Yahweh, that I am part of that number. Okay. But that's the message that I'm trying to convey to the Akim that are watching the video. Okay, so when time passed, you were given over to your lusts of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of your mind. Okay, because everything starts in the mind and then it, it, it shows forth itself through the flesh, through actions. And that's what we got to mortify. We got to gain control of the thoughts. All right, you got to gain control of, of, of the flesh. All right, uh, real quick, like I said, brother, I know I'm jumping around, but just, just stay with me. Okay, Lord willing, you stay with me. Y'all watch him, y'all was shy. You know, um, I got another scripture, but I'm gonna bring it out right here in the uh, the apocrypha. All right, I got several scriptures that I want to bring out in the apocrypha. Uh, the first one I want to bring out is in the book of uh, Salakia, in the book of Sirach, chapter 22, verse 27. Who shall set a watch before my mouth? And a seal of wisdom upon my lips, that I fall not suddenly by them, and that my tongue destroy me not. O Yahweh, Father and Governor of all my whole life, leave me not to their counsels, and let me not fall by them. Who will set scourges over my thoughts, and the discipline of wisdom over my heart, that they spare me not from my ignorances, and it pass not by my sins? 
right so we we the only way we're gonna uh, have power over that is through through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, having the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai, being in prayer, being filled with the Spirit. Okay, uh, being 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 uh, preoccupied in in this in this work, man. Being fervent in business, being hot for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, Sirach twenty three and three. Let my ignorances increase, least my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction and i fall therefore bef before my enemies and my enemy rejoice over me whose hope is far from thy mercy you see so we 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 need uh the holy spirit which is the word to uh meet us in our thoughts and help us to uh Im immediately destroy that wicked thought or that wicked that, that yeah that wicked thought that's going to try to get us to go off okay so at one time, you walked, or we walked, according to the prince of the power of this air. But no no more do we. We walk with the spirit, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai now, okay? So let me go back to Colossians. All right, uh, 3 and 6. Colossians 3 and 6. For which thing's sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh on the children of disobedience, you see? And, and the which ye also walked some time, Ye lived in them, but now yet also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, ba blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. See, and th these are different emotions or anger, wrath. All right. And, 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 and you have we have to fight against these, these lusts because anger is a lust. All right. The flesh don't get get to receive what it wants and it wants to uh, lash out. OK. Or it ain't going the way uh, someone's. Um. Things ain't going the way you want it to go, okay? You got to be patient. We got to build up discipline, okay? So it says, um, filthy communication out of so like eight, uh, Colossians three and eight. But now ye also put off these, put off these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filth, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So the mind is supposed to be renewed in the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what, that's the, that's what we had to, uh, that's, that's the only thing we can depend on to help us fight against the flesh. That's the only thing we can depend on to fight against the, uh, the spirits, the, these wicked entities, the, the, these evil spirits that are outside we, that we can't see. Okay? So let me go back to Romans 7. And finish that up Romans 7 and 23 but I see another law of my members warring against the law of my mind and bring me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members O wretched man that I am who shall deliver me from the body of this death I thank Yahweh through Yahweh Shai Mashiach our Lord so then with my mind I myself serve the law of Yahweh but with my flesh the law of sin okay so Paul is basically telling us how how hard it is, man. Okay, but he's gonna serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai regardless, you know, till the end. Now let me go back to uh, Romans six and twelve. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto Yahweh. As those that are alive from the dead and your members are instruments of righteousness unto Yahweh for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace what then shall we sin because we are under the law because we are not under the law but under grace God forbid see and then you got a lot of churches that that uh, read the scripture right here verse 15 or Salakia verse 14 and, and basically they leave it like that to the congregation thinking the, the people thinking they can still go off but if you keep reading it tell it breaks itself down telling you that you have to abstain from from the, from the flesh from the lust of the flesh you have to fight against that you got to obey the law statutes and commandments and that's what they tell the people is that you don't have to obey the commandments but Paul said that he, he wouldn't have known what lust was if if, if, if the law did it if, if he didn't knew the, if he didn't know the law said thou shalt not covet you know, so he knew that since it said thou shalt not covet that he he had to resist certain lusts. 
he had to re resist lust. But they don't teach that in the churches. Okay? So it says again in uh, Romans 6 and 15, What then shall we sin because we are under the law, but under grace? Salak, let me read it again. Romans 6 and 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey? Whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So which one do you want, man? All right. You know, and that's the, it's true. You know, if your body governs you, that's that's who your, your master is. Now, if you flip it around, then you you control that vessel. You control your body. All right. But you can only do that through the spirit and power. Yahweh You can't do it on your own. OK, you cannot do it on your own. You will fail. Let's go to Romans 8. OK, it says Romans 8 and. It started Romans 8 and 4. The righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the spirit, after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because their carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So then they that are of the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, he is none of his. And if Yahweh Shai HaMashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. You see? Because you have to obey the laws and his commandments. You have to obey what Yahweh, Yahweh Shai command one man, a man to do. Alright? Ecclesiastes 12 says... Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and obey his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Okay? So you're either going to fulfill the lust thereof, of the flesh, or you're going to fulfill the, 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 the pleasures and the, 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 the good. That, or are you going to fulfill the things that are pleasing to Yahweh? Well, Yahweh shy, which leads to righteousness. All right? Romans 8 and 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh shy from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Yahweh Shahamashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwell in you. Therefore, brethren, ye are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. You see, we're not debt, we're not we're not in debt to live after after the, the, the flesh. Alright? We're not we're, we're in debt to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to live after the spirit, fulfill to and to fulfill the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We were bought with the price. So when we return, we had to uh, go out there to the highways and the hedges and, and mortify our bodies, our members, and be, be examples on the face of the earth that we are Mount Zion, which the word Zion goes back to the word monument, which, which is, a, is a sign to people that there once lived this certain individual or there is still, you know, an existent, he still exists. All right, you can look up the word monument and break, it, break itself down from, from the word Zion. Verse uh, Romans 8 and 13 For if ye live after the flesh <clears throat> Ye shall die But if ye through the spirit do mortify The deeds of the body See But if ye through the spirit do mortify The deeds of the body ye shall live So it's spiritual Okay it's a spiritual mortification Alright It's a spiritual uh, uh, Cutting away Of the things that are uh, You know Dangerous to yourself Verse 14 for as many as are led by the Spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of the Most High. Okay, so going back to Romans 6 and uh, 14. For, for sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Oh, uh, Salaki, where was I? Not there. Uh, Romans 8, 6 and 16. Know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey his servants ye are to whom you obey? Whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness, but Yahweh be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered delivered you, which is what 
you know, the, the law, statutes, the commandments. All right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, strength of thy salvation. The word is what, the engrafted word is what is going to save your soul, which is Yahweh Shai, who comes written in the volume of a book. Verse 18, being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness, you see. So we had to be servants of righteousness, doing the uh, the first works, going out to the highways and the byways, preaching, edifying one another, exhorting, rebuking one another, showing love to one another. All right. Verse 19, I speak after the manner of men because of the inf infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to do iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. Okay? So we have to yield, yield ourselves. The scriptures say, love thy God with all thy power, strength, and might. Okay? So you have to give your whole self over to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse, uh, verse 20. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from, from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. You see? You see? So we have to go forward. We have to walk in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Because the things that we did before uh, were contrary and, and worked, uh, like I said, uh, for the end of those things is death. Okay. So let's go to. From there Galatians. Alright Galatians chapter. Uh, chapter 5. Salaki. Just give me one second brothers. It's going through the spirit. And you know. Go, I have scriptures lined up too. But. You know. All right, this is uh, Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the lust, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So all these, these different uh, characteristics is what, the flesh produces that's the fruit of the flesh which will lead you to death all right verse 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law and they that are yahweh shahamashiach has crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts if you live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit okay so those are the it gives you the characteristics of the spirit all right so we had to crucify the lust and the affections of the flesh all right mortify them okay so let's go over here back to Romans 6 start where I left off Romans 6 and 21 what fruit had ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed right we didn't gain no fruit you know we're still in the same situation you know what I'm saying? It, it, that was, you know, just tearing us down. We we're Instead of walking forward, we we're walking backwards. That's why the Lord calls Israel a backsliding hef heifer. All right? Because that's basically what we're doing. We're just falling down a damn sandy-ass hill and never getting to the top. We just keep climbing and climbing and climbing and just keep sliding and sliding down. You know? So it says, uh, What fruit had ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now be, being made free from sin and becoming servants to Yahweh, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end of everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shahamashiach, our Lord. You see? So that's what we all want. That's what we're all striving for. And that's what we're uh, trying to uh, gain, man. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one. Here in the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 24. 
But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that felt impatience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently. All right. So that's plain. You know, that's self-explanatory. You know, let's go ahead and go to Sirach chapter 21. Verse 1, my son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too, too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of, of, of a lion, slaying the souls of men. All iniquity is as a double-edged sword. The wounds thereof cannot be healed. Healed. All right. So that's the that's what, what we don't we want to keep away from, man. All right. But uh you know hope it was edifying brothers you know salakia for the stammering lips and things of that nature but uh hope like i said i hope y'all were edified but we're in, we're in the, t the end times man you know you know it's a matter of time whenever all hell is gonna break loose but uh i just wanted to bring this video out for you brothers you know want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all by shimmy i was shy double honors to the elders of great millstone much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth keep walking in the spirit of y'all was shy Stay filled with the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Keep your eyes single. You know, stay focused. Be vigilant. Sober. Because, the, the, you know, the lion, the devil, he walketh, you know, seeking whom he may devour, man. You know, to and fro through the earth. But uh, hope it was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.